There is anger. There is still, of course, grief in the South Texas city of Uvalde, where a gunman killed 19 children and two teachers one week ago today. Funerals are starting for some of the victims, while many are waiting to hear why police delayed going into that classroom to kill the gunman. Fox 4's Dan Godwin is here with that story. And Hannah, the first two funerals will be held in a few hours. Uvalde is a city of about 16,000. The immensity of this loss is something people there are still trying to come to grips with. Today's services are for 10 year olds, Amory Joe Garza and Meta Rodriguez. They are two of 12 funerals set for this week in Uvalde. Visitations will be today for Irma Garcia, one of the teachers killed, as well as her husband, Joe Garcia, who died of a heart attack two days after the shooting. Visitations for four more young victims are scheduled for tomorrow. Services for the 19 students and two teachers who died will be spread out over the next two and a half weeks. The U.S. Department of Justice has announced it is investigating the slow response by local police at the shooting. No word yet what person with the DOJ will head up that probe. Texas DPS acknowledges that 19 officers stationed in the hallway of the school waited for tactical support. We spoke with a former U.S. attorney about the review. One of the key issues is going to be why was this treated as a barricade situation instead of an active shooter situation? The rules of engagement are clear on an active shooter engagement. You engage the shooter. You take him on. Uh, and there's going to be issues, and this is going to come out in the timeline. Even if you believe that he's not killing more individuals at that point, you have individuals who are wounded and who need immediate help, and they're not getting that immediate help. An hour. 10 minutes, five minutes, a minute can make a difference in terms of saving a person's life. The Uvalde School District hosted active shooter training just weeks earlier. That training emphasizes officers must immediately move into action to isolate, distract, or neutralize the threat, even if it's just one officer acting alone. Tim and Hannah, 